गुड आफ्टरनून चिल्ड्रन इन प्रीवियस क्लास वी हैव लर्न अबाउट द लैटरल शिफ्ट एंड वॉट हैपन्स वेन ए ग्लास लैब इज प्लेस्ड इन द पाथ ऑफ द लाइट रे दट मीन्स वेन एवर द लाइट ट्रैवल्स फ्रॉम वन मीडियम टू अनदर मीडियम we shall observe some bending towards the normal or interface of the two mediums two mediums in a similar manner what happens when a glass lab is placed in the path of the light ray and also we have observed that light does not travel in a straight line path when it moves from another medium that means a separate distance is observed that is known as shift lateral shift now we have observed is there any relation between incident angle and lateral shift Incident angle changes, lateral shift also changes. Incident angle changes, lateral shift also changes. But incident angle and emergent angle is same. We have observed. So now, by this, shall we find the refractive index of used this glass lab? Refractive index of this used glass lab by finding by finding shift in previous experiment we have found that lateral shift now we shall find the vertical shift vertical shift what can shift means glass lab should placed vertically vertically required material is shall find through an experiment required material is a glass lab scale pencil protractor and all pins and all pins now place the glass lab like this vertically trace the trace with the help of trace the glass lab with the help of a pencil name it as a b c d a b c d now keep a point on cd surface at 15 cm 15 cm on the paper on the paper name it as p o p now again place the glass lab in the traced one traced diagram now keep a all pin on p on p observe carefully we are finding now vertical shift by observing observing the all pin through the glass lab through the glass lab keep 
another all pen another all pen to quit them it on both are it in the same line same straight line observe carefully observe the alpin through observe both are at the same straight line observe carefully both are at same straight line same straight line observe heads okay now observe here there is a shift should be observed when the light ray travels from the now trace the line where we observed the all pin now measure the distance between these three straight lines that is that is 0.2 cm 0.2 cm this deviation or this shift is known as vertical shift vertical shift now find the refractive index of the given glass slab measure the thickness of the glass slab now measure the thickness of the glass slab now this is about uh, 1.4 uh, 1.4 5 cm vertical shift is observed 0.2 cm 0.2 cm thickness of the glass slab thickness of the glass slab z equals to 1.5 cm now refractive index of the glass slab we have a formula thickness of the glass slab thickness of the glass slab by thickness of the glass slab minus vertical shift vertical shift 1.5 by 1.5 minus 0.2 1.5 by 1.3 that is Point point cancel. Fifteen by thirteen. One point five 
13 ones are 13, 2, 13 ones are. Nearly the refractive index of this glass lab is 1.1. Observe in the table, refractive index of the glass is 1 point something given in the image. Refractive index of used glass lab is 1.1 centimeters. 1.1 refractive index of this glass lab is 1.1. Okay, with this we have finished our lesson refraction. Refraction. Once again, we will see in this experiment. Vertical should be, vertical shift should be 0 0.2 centimeters by placing glass lab vertically tracing on it, keeping a pin at 15, 15 centimeter distance by seeing through the glass lab, observing the glass lab, that pin we will place another pin besides it and finding the distance between if the where it is shifted. So that shift we measured is through experiment is 0 0.2 centimeters. By using this shift and measuring the thickness of the glass lab by substituting this in the formula refractive index of the glass lab is thickness of the glass lab by thickness of the glass lab minus vertical shift 1.5 by 1.5 minus 0 0.2 that is 1.3 that is nearly 1.1 is the refractive index of the glass lab used in this experiment. Okay. By this, this is the last topic of the our lesson refraction. Once again, we will recapture the points what we have discussed in the lesson. In the lesson, first of all, the beauty of the light is refraction. In our previous classes, we have discussed about the uh, reflection. 7th and 8th classes, we have discussed about the reflection. Here, another beauty of the thing is refraction. Whenever the light travels from one medium to another medium, it seems to be bending at some surface of the interface. But it is not at all bending. It changes its velocity whenever it changes from one medium, it moves from one medium to another medium. So, the medium which is having heavier is denser medium. The medium which is lighter that is known as then rarer medium. That means whenever the light travels from rarer medium to denser medium, it bends towards the normal. We have proved through the experiment. And also whenever the light travels from denser medium to rarer medium, it moves away from the normal. We have proved through the experiment by taking different mediums which is having another factor that decides the velocity of the light in that medium that is known as refractive index. Where the velocity of the light is in the, in the vacuum 3 into 10 to the power of 8 meters per second we know it very well. Whenever it travels air to another medium or medium to medium, its velocity changes. That means the ratio between velocity of the light to the velocity of the light in that medium is known as refractive index. Refractive index is more, the velocity of the light is less. The less be the refractive index, velocity of the light is more. And then we have discussed that relative refractive index that means comparison between the refractive indexes of the two mediums that is N12 that is equals to V1 by V2 velocities of the two mediums or refractive index of the 
first medium to refractive index of the second medium we have already proved that one and also snell's law snell's law n1 sin a is equal to n2 sin r we have proved this one all the sign angles measuring sign angles should be learnt in 10th class so we have observed what happens when light passes to rarer medium to denser medium and denser medium to rarer medium also at some angle whenever the light travels from denser medium to rarer medium at some angle it passes and it reflects to same medium that angle is known as critical angle it is always when at the critical angle it passes through the normal line or interface of the two surfaces that is nearly in between 40 and 50 degrees 42 degrees is the critical angle that is also we have measured and uh, we did some experiment critical angle this process is known as a critical angle the light travels into the same medium same medium it won't go outside of the medium that is known as total internal reflection total internal reflection what are the daily life applications of the this total internal reflection is formation of mirages mirages already we have observed many times in summers on the roads on black roads coal tar roads vehicles are moving or whenever we are moving on the roads we should observe water at some distances water at some distance if we go there there is no water there is no water again we will see at somewhere we shall observe the water there is no water there this was called mirrors mirrors a nearby tree image is observed as like as water what happens means here the air towards the road black road is hotted and above the road is light cold air light and cold air whenever the light travels from here hot air is rarer medium and cold air is denser medium whenever the light travels from hot air to cold air in hot air the velocity is maximum are more than that of the cold air that means when the light travels from hot air to cold air total internal reflection is takes place and the nearby objects image should be formed on the road this is called mirrors it should seems to be water in that place and also where the this total internal reflection is used means in optical fibers this is the very most 2020 20, 20th century's uh, investigation of the scientists communication is very very easy our online classes are also making easy by using three or uh, these optical fiber networks all villages in india wherever the world should be connected through a small wires their thickness is very very less than that of our hair those lines those wires should be connected through different areas the internet communication should be go through this optical fiber cables and also these are used in medical technology also cyber knives and uh, some cancer operations also done by using this optical fibers then what how we should measure the total internal reflection 
by using some experiments what happens when some glass slab is placed when in the path of the light ray first of all we should observe the lateral shift and then vertical shift and also at last we find the refractive index of the given glass slab thank you thank you one and all i am very much thankful to the do respected do of the command six and surapeda and also the friends who helped in this program thank you one and all